guys, it's Super Few Games, or I don't go back to another one of my Black Ops 3 Zombies top 5 videos. And in today's top 5, we are going to be going over the top 5 worst things about Gorod Krovi. And I gotta say, there's really nothing bad about this map, only minor little things, so that's what's going to be on this list. And also, uh, this list was kind of put together with you guys on Twitter, so if you guys want to help me out with future top 5s, make sure to follow me on Twitter, link is in the description. Also guys, I want to mention that I'm planning on doing top 5s a little more often, so if you guys like the way that sounds, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video, and besides that, let's get right into our top 5. So coming in at number 5 on my list, I have lack of training spots, and I agree with each and every one of you who tweeted me this. There are no training spots on this map. Let's go back and look at some of the other maps in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Shadows of Evil, great training spots. The Giant, eh, not so much, but you can train. Uh, then you look at Zetsuba no Shima, tons of training spots on that map. Drys and Draka also tons of training spots on that map. Maybe not as many as Zetsubu, but there's still a good amount on this map. There just aren't any training spots, and the thing is, there aren't really many camping spots as well. There aren't really any amazing high round strategies like there were on Zetsuba no Shima and Jiraizen Jiraka, so it's hard to get to a high round, and specifically, it's hard to train on this map and go for high round. So coming in at number four on my list, no new perk on Gorod Krovi? Oh, I know. I know, guys. I'm a little salty, we're all a little salty about this one because DLC 3 and no new perks since the first map since uh, Shadows of Evil, it's kind of strange not having new perks with every single DLC and a lot of people are saying there's gonna be a new perk on this map, including myself. We had leaked images, oh this could possibly be a new perk, we're looking everywhere for a new perk and we didn't get a new perk, which is really unfortunate. It's not that big of a deal, but guys, we all wanted a new perk, we wanted something else, at least something for just this map. It didn't have to be a new perk that would have to be on every map, but for just this map, I kind of wanted something, and I feel like there's potential for a new perk on this map, but I'm hoping they're waiting for DLC 4 to add in a new perk, because we desperately need one. Coming in at number 3 on my list, the Dragon's Fire. People do not like this, including myself. If there's one thing on this map that annoys me the most, it's definitely this right here because all of the decent training spots, the dragon likes to breathe fire in that area. And not only does that fire damage you, I know you can take out your shield, but sometimes you're just in a bad situation and you can't. Not only does that fire damage you and blind you, it creates the napalm zombies. And oh my gosh, Transit 2.0? Is Transit coming back, guys? This is absolutely... So annoying because those exploding zombies, they're pretty damn powerful. And speaking of the whole new perk thing, PhD Flopper, come on, bring that back for this map because that would be so helpful. Or some kind of a perk that resists you from fire or exploding zombies, something. Because these exploding zombies and the fire in general is kind of annoying. So coming in at number two on my list, I have the Valkyries, and these guys caught me by surprise in two ways. First of all, the bombardment of tweets you guys sent me talking about how annoying these Valkyries are, and number two, on how annoying they actually are and how strong they are. I was not expecting these things to be this powerful and so hard to kill, especially once you get into those higher rounds. Even that first wave of Valkyries, they're pretty damn tough. And if you don't have Double Tap 2.0 or you don't have like a decent weapon, you're gonna struggle trying to kill these things. And I even wanna talk about the higher rounds. These things are pretty damn tough to kill, at least for a quote unquote dog round, right? Because if you think about this, these guys drop you the max ammo. This is the dog round in Gorod Krovi. The dog round's supposed to be easy. These things are pretty damn tough. And on top of that, in the higher rounds, if you don't kill them right away, they'll start spawning in these electric zombies, and those things are worse than the napalm zombies. Those things do so much damage, 
and they can kill you pretty quick. So coming in at number one on my list, hands down, the worst thing about Gorod Krovi are all of the glitches and all of the bugs. This is just really frustrating and I feel like out of all the maps that I've dropped so far in Black Ops 3 Zombies, this is the glitchiest map of all, especially when players are in the higher rounds and they disconnect from the game. You know, they use their gauntlet of Siegfried and the game crashes. They use a specific thing, the game crashes. They use alchemical antithesis, the game crashes. There are just so many little glitches on this map and it's kind of annoying. I remember when the map kind of just first dropped, there were a lot of bugs and glitches with the Easter egg. Certain upgrades weren't working, certain things weren't working, and the map was kind of a mess at the beginning. At this point, the only big problem is the high rounds and disconnecting from the game. Not even disconnecting, having the game just crash on you because you're using things in the game. It makes absolutely no sense and this is something they definitely have to fix for DLC for the last zombie map that we're gonna have in a long time. They gotta learn from this and make sure that that is a lot better. So there we have it guys, it is the top five worst things about Gorod Krovi. And like I mentioned before, the things on this list, they're such little things, such minor things, little annoying things. Every map has a couple of annoying things on it, even the best maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Overall, I absolutely love this map. It's such a solid map. My next top five will be the top five best things about this map. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description if you want to help me out with that top five and future top fives. And like always, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. What would you change about my list? And what are some of your least favorite things about this map? All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.